Good morning. I'm heading to Mint and Salt now. I have a breakfast date today. I'm so excited. Uh, it's a restaurant I've always wanted to try. It's a small restaurant in the CBD, so I guess it's at a good location where everyone can get there. I really want to try their shawarma, so that's what I'm going for. I know it's in the morning, but I'm still going to try it. See you later. <laughs> This is the place, it's nice and small and cozy and very convenient if you want to meet a friend while you're in the CBD. Uh, we got there early in the morning, so we were the first ones, it had just opened and they were not making shawarmas, so I didn't get to try their shawarmas. But anyway, we still had a nice breakfast and their service was good and we enjoyed ourselves. <laughs> Yeah. After Mint and Salt, we went to KICC, which is around the same area, not so far from there. We went there with the intention of going up to the helipad so as to see the nice views of Nairobi. But they said it's been closed since Corona came, so we were not so lucky. Anyway, we still ended up hanging around for a while, taking videos and photos, and it was really nice. It was cool being a tourist in your own country since I barely do these things. The helipad is worth visiting at least once in your life because the views up there are really nice. So let's hope that they are going to open it up to the public again and we'll be able to go there. Previously it used to cost I think about 300 to 400 Kenyan shillings for Kenyan citizens. So I don't know what the cost will be now right after they open. As of this time uh, we just went in, they didn't really charge us anything, we just went to take photos and look around and it was free. So that was it for KICC. Masai Market is just adjacent to KICC so we passed by there. It's open on Saturdays and Sunday afternoons and it's a place where you can get all the nice African souvenirs. Next, we went to Uhuru Park, which is always full and buzzing with activity. We went there specifically to try out the boat ride. I had never done it before, so I was quite excited. Right here, you can see we were a bit nervous um, getting onto the boat because it was a bit wobbly and we, were really, we really didn't want to fall into the water. But anyway, we got the hang of it and even how to control it and with time we had fun. So if it's something you have never done, I think you should try it because, yeah, it was fun in the end. I'm glad I did it. Uh, the boat ride costs 300 Kenya shillings for 30 minutes. So you can go as many as four people, but we were just two in this one. And yeah, the people at the front have to pedal and control the gear so as to control the direction in which the boat moves. As I said before, it was a really fun activity. I didn't think I'd have that much fun, but I did enjoy it very much. So yeah, make sure you try it out. Just be careful not to fall in the, into the water because it doesn't look so clean and I don't know what happens inside there. But other than that, it's worth the try. Welcome to David Sheldrick Wildlife Trust. This is a place that takes in baby elephants and rhinos that are orphaned. They take care of them and let them back out into the wild once they're all strong and grown. 
Usually it's nice because when you come visit you're able to see the cute baby elephants and if you're lucky you can also be able to touch one. They have an entrance fee of 1500 Kenyan shillings or $15 per person. And you come in, you listen to the game wardens explain everything about the elephants and then you're able to touch them if you're very lucky if they come close to you. I know you're also able to adopt an elephant if you want, so I think those are details you should look up on their website. But yeah, that's pretty much. You just see them and interact with them for a short time because I know they only allow you to go in between 11 and 12. They say they do this so as to not let the animals really get used to humans. So you're only allowed there for one hour. A point to note is that you need to make an appointment beforehand before going there. Previously you used to just walk in and be able to see them but right now they say again because of corona you have to make an appointment before so as to book because they control the numbers. So we went there without booking but we were lucky enough because that day not everyone who had booked showed up so we had to wait for everyone who had booked to come then later they let us in. And anyway, all in all it was a nice experience and this time around I got to touch an elephant so I was quite ecstatic about it. And yeah, it was really cool. Next, we went to Giraffe Center, which is one of my favorite places in Nairobi. Here you have two options, either you can pay up front or you can purchase a ticket beforehand. Um the tickets cost 400 Kenyan shillings for Kenyan adults and 200 Kenyan shillings for children and 1500 Kenyan shillings for non-residents so people who are not Kenyan citizens for the adults and 700 Kenyan shillings for the children which is approximately $15 and $7. Here you get to see giraffes and you get to feed them which yeah I really love I really love coming here. I always get so excited. So yeah it's a nice place and this time round we were able also to sit and listen to someone who explained facts about giraffes so it was really cool i enjoyed myself Hi guys, it's another day in Nairobi with me. I'm about to head out right now to go try some fish that my friend told me about so they're taking me there. I'm really excited because I don't know. I haven't eaten fish in a while like the proper tilapia fish. So the place is called Osumo Brad. I didn't know about it. I was just told yesterday. So let's go and try it and see how it goes. See you later. The fish is so good. I managed to eat most of it and definitely finished all the fish. I left there really really full but I was very satisfied. It was nice, the service was good, so it's a place you can try out a proper Kenyan meal and also the price range is not so bad because it was on average between 500 to 800 Kenyan shillings. So definitely check it out. Next after all that eating we definitely needed to find an activity that would help all that food go down. So we decided to go bowling which was nice. Uh we decided to try the pins entertainment at Sarit Center. It's a nice place. It has an option where you can go bowling and you can also play pool and they also serve food and drinks there if you want. So yeah, that was pretty much the rest of my afternoon on that day. Um the price for pins was for bowling uh, was 350 Kenya shillings on weekdays. so not during busy time so that's i think monday to thursday then from friday to sunday which is usually the busy times they charge 500 per person 
And I saw, I think the pool tables is 500 per person. I don't know if that's every day or it varies on different days. I didn't really check because I didn't do that. But yeah, those are the prizes that I remember as of now. Two things you definitely need to experience in Nairobi is the street food and the nightlife. So of course I had to go eat my two favorite things which are Mutura and Smoky Pasua. And I also got to experience the nightlife a couple of times. But I didn't get to shoot that as much. I just put a short snippet to show you what it kind of looks like. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much it. It is another day in Nairobi and now we are heading to K1 Clubhouse. I had finished my first activities for that day and decided to stop over at K1 Clubhouse to get something to eat because I was starving. And I know anyway it's always good vibes. So that day they had an entrance fee of a thousand because something was going on inside. But that a thousand you're able to renew it for either food or drinks. So I didn't know, I thought I could renew half and half, but it turns out I couldn't. And of course, usually when you get somewhere, you order the drink before the food. So in short, I ended up getting four cocktails because it was happy hour. So if you get one, you get another one free. And because of the price, I had to get two, meaning I got two others free. Yeah, it was really unplanned. Anyway, I ended up ordering their masala fries and their K1 hot dog. I don't know what they call it. It's a specific hot dog for K1. It was good. I enjoyed the hot dog. Um, and yeah, I just enjoyed the vibes. It was nice. There was music. And I enjoyed myself as it was a stopover to where I was going on to next, which I think I probably explain later in this video. Hello, I hope you can hear me. So at the moment I'm into rivers, a bit lost. I'm trying to find the first way. Uh, I was trying to, I was meant to tell you about my itinerary, but uh, I got to K1 at first and it was really noisy. So I couldn't really talk. I hope you can hear me with a mask. But now I went to K1 because of course who comes to Nairobi and doesn't go to K1? I don't know if it's still a thing, but I feel like you don't need to go to K1 if you come to Nairobi. So I went there, I had a meal as you have seen and yeah, it was nice because there was a DJ playing and it was really cool. There was nice music. I didn't want to leave, but I had to leave because I today's itinerary included me coming to Two Rivers because I have to try the Eye of Kenya. So that's where I'm headed to now to try the Ferris wheel, hoping that it's still I'm still able to take a ride now because it's a bit past 7 p.m. I don't know if I'll be able to do the other rides, I'm not sure, but if I'm not, I'll probably just do the Ferris wheel and then go home. So let's go. Hope you enjoy. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> oh my god. I'm a bit scared, but I'm going to do this. I mean, I like views, so it shouldn't be so bad, right? I need to figure out where to pay. Then I'll tell you all the details, but it's beautiful. This is the Eye of Kenya, apparently. Welcome to the Eye of Kenya, guys. I'm about to take a ride. 
so i'm going to board the ride it was 500 kenya shillings for 16 minutes the guy said 16 minutes i thought it'd be 14 but he said 16 so i gave my ticket and we're walking in i'm so excited yeah so this is just a walk bear with me until i get to the thing it's a long walk but thank god i came at this time so there's no line and the lights are beautiful i missed the sunset though i really thought i'd get the sunset but i missed it so oh well still enjoy the lights i guess i don't even be able to see anything up there but let's go thank you Ooh. thank you, thank you. Asante. So at least I was able to get my own, what can I call it, cubicle in the first that we're going up now. Oh my gosh, it's so... <laughs> we're not even up and about really worrying. Yeah, but yeah, it's cool, it's cool. Let's see, I'll record it for you. Sorry, the lighting is so bad. I didn't carry my camera, so I only have my phone, but I hope you enjoy. Look at the lights. <gasps> I literally came all this way just for this ride with the Ferris wheel. I thought I'd do other rides, but I feel like I'm running out of time because it's closer to eat. So I think this is it and I'm going home. <laughs> but then I hope you enjoyed the video. I think this will be my last shooting. But the Ferris wheel is moving, so that's what I keep on staring at. Let me show you. <laughs> moving i hope you have the lighting has changed because i think we're going down now but it's really cool i'm really amazed anyway yeah it's nice i'd advise if you want to come for a very soon ride to see the views of nairobi to just i mean enjoy your time here it's a few minutes but i think it's worth it 500 for 16 minutes i think is a lot so yeah i think i'll be done with this when i'll head home and that will be my end the end of this video rather <laughs> so i guess i'll say my goodbyes here if you want as i said before it costs 500 shillings for a 16 minute ride uh, i asked about the other rides they said it's 2000 shillings the minimum pay i think you have to get a card or something with the amount of money then you go for the other rides but since i'm running out of time i don't think i'll do them so because they close at eight and it's, it's going to eight now Anyway, yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I guess see you next time. <laughs> Bye.